गुड मॉर्निंग चिल्ड्रन टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टडी अ न्यू पोएम एनिमल्स कंपोज बाय वॉट विटमैन अ वेरी फेमस पोएट फ्रॉम अमेरिकन लिटरेचर दिस पोएम एक्सप्रेसिस द रिलेशनशिप बिटवीन पीपल एंड एनवायरमेंट एज वेल एज द स्पिरिचुअल एसेंस दैट ऑल लिविंग थिंग्स शेयर The poem explores the connection between humans and animals as well as the notion that everyone is looking for meaning and purpose in life. The poem honors the charm and majesty of animals. The significant part they play in the natural world and the sense of kinship and awe that people have for them. What Whitman has shown the comparison between human beings and animals in his poem he has pointed out the evils present inside the human brain which he thinks animal doesn't have animals don't have so he thinks that animals are much better than human beings in this poem animals the poet has described his will to become an animal because he thinks animals are far better than human beings Human beings are greedy and full of jealousy against each other but animals are calm and self-contained the animals are happy with what they have they never complain about miseries and sorrows on the other hand all human beings complain about their miseries they are always full of complaints they give more importance to the rich and strong people stay restless because of their wrong doings and run behind the luxurious things of this world whereas animals are honest about their relations and don't give importance to a particular class they live a life which is full of honesty and less of greed and jealousy now the poem i think i could turn and live with animals they are so placid and self contained i stand and look at them long and long now the meanings placid means calm peaceful contained means keep up control now the explanation the poet says that he wants to live in the world of animals here we can say that the poet finds the world of animals is far better than that of human beings he further says that he finds animals more peaceful than humans he says no he says so because animals are not running after worldly things like money relations etc like human beings they are calm and have no greed for worldly pleasures or achievements they are self satisfied means they are happy with life and never interfere in the lives of others humans have the habit of interfering in the lives of others so poet thinks that animals are better than humans for being calm and not interfering in the matters of others the poet further says that these are the reasons why he stands still and looks at the animals for a very long time now the literary devices there is assonance assonance where do we get where there is use of vowel sound i i think i live with animals so there is assonance then repetition is also there long word has been repeated then there is anaphora i word used at the start of two consecutive lines so in that line we have anaphora now the stanza too they do not sweat and whine about their condition they do not lie awake in the dark and weep for their sins they do not make me sick discussing their duty to god not one is dissatisfied not one is demented with the mania of owing things sweat here it means complaint whine means cry sins means wrong doings demented means mad disturbed now the explanation children the poet says that the unlike human beings animals do not complain of their miseries they never cry out loud like humans do to show what they have lost they never stay awake in the night 
crying in repentance for their wrong doings this means that animals are different from human beings because they do not show anger or grief if something wrong happens to them he further says that animals are very truthful because they never boast of their good deeds done in the name of god the poet says so because most of the human beings do so they try to show their good deeds and religiousness to others they do so in order to gain popularity among their fellow beings so the poet thinks that animals never irritate him by doing such things just to gain some praise appraisal from their friends he feels that animals are not dissatisfied like human beings they stay happy with whatever they have they never run behind money or any other worldly things they never try to possess things of comfort or luxury he says that none of them is mad behind owing the owning the worldly pleasures now the literary devices anaphrase there use of repeated words at the beginning of two or more consecutive lines use of they do not has anaphra the next is metaphor indirect comparison sweat and wine refer to the cries and complaints of human beings now the third stanza not one kneels to another nor to his kind that lived thousands of years ago not one is respectable or unhappy over the whole earth so they show their relations to me and i accept them they bring me tokens of myself they evince them plainly in their possession now the meanings kneels means bow down evince means show possession means ownership of something tokens means here it means qualities here the poet says that he has never seen any animal showing his devotion to anyone by bowing down in front of other person they never do so even so even for their ancestors they do not show devotion towards god like humans do no one among them is more respectable or important as we have in human society in human beings rich people are generally given more importance and are treated with more respect as compared to the poor but in the society of animals they never do so they never give more or less importance to any other animal everyone in the world of animal is happy they are not like we people human beings who find themselves the happiest or the saddest person on earth further the poet says that animals are more honest in showing their relations with other animals here he wants to say that animals use other animals as their food and they never try to hide this whereas human being show that they have nice and friendly relations with others though the reality is opposite the poet says that he accepts the fact that animals are true towards showing their relation with other animals now literary devices we have metaphor the inner qualities of humans are referred to as tokens now last i wonder where they get those tokens did i pass that way huge times ago and negligently drop them negligently means carelessly so at last the poet introspects himself and says that from where the animals got these good qualities he further questions himself that where his own good qualities are gone did he left them or had carelessly lost them somewhere the qualities that were found in human beings in the ancient time like innocence mercifulness truthfulness honesty these are all they these are now not no more seen in human beings these are the qualities of animals now he wonders that humans gave up these qualities and they have been passed on to the animals i hope this poem is clear to you and prepare this poem for board as this is very important especially the last stanza and theme of the poem prepare this for board examination please like and subscribe my channel 
and share the video as well thank you